The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, uh, starting out with the German DAX and then also the FTSE. You can see these patterns are in some type of a, either a distribution or consolidation area, small ABCDs. Haven't made new highs yet, but we're not very far away. And we have this monster solar eclipse, new moon coming up here on the 10th, two days away. Today, our guest will be Shane Smolian. On Thursday, we're going to have Tim Bost, and hopefully on Friday, we will have Stan Harley. And now let's look at one other thing that I wanted to bring to your attention, and that is Bitcoin, folks. This stock is – well, it's not a stock. It's a coin. But if you take a look at this <laughs> – very good, Ruby. I was reading your mind. Okay, here's the important thing to look at. After we made the three-drive to a top pattern, that is as clear a three-drive pattern as you're going to see, folks, up there at uh, 65,000. Then the market comes down, and it makes a head and shoulders pattern, again, perfectly symmetrical, with the right shoulder being lower than the left shoulder. Now you come down to the 61% retracement uh, back on May the 19th, and here we are three weeks away from there, and the market has failed to even rally to a 382 retracement, and we're starting to break down. And I believe we're going to get somewhere around 22,000 would be my guess, 20 to 22,000. Boys and girls, the reason why that's important is since Bitcoin became popular in 2012, and I know you might find this hard to believe, it has had four 80% corrections. Now, I know that's very close to 78.6, but between us girls, we'll call it 80%. We are in the fifth one of those right now. And I uh, believe at around that 20,000 level, that's going to be very important because those were the old highs back on January of 2018 when they first listed it at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And from there, it went down to 3,100. So that's nothing going. Um, I, uh, Mr. Z is asking me to show the chart. Uh, I can't, Mr. Z. Uh, this chart sent to me across the pond by a fellow who trades Bitcoin all the time, and I don't have access. I don't trade Bitcoin. I have an interest in it because of the fact that uh, my relationship with uh, John Jameson, but that's really all I can see. You can see a bounce anywhere, Ruby. I mean, this thing jumps around like a rocket. I mean, the fight, you know, that that that's a what a that's a lot a ten percent, twelve percent move. That can that that's anything. I'm just trying to give you the lay of the land of what I'm looking at. Uh, from a longer term perspective, when we made that three drive to a top pattern there, folks, that, that was very significant. I mean, it, it, we, we mentioned it. You know, I'm not trading this. I got to know diddly squat about these things, what they are. But they're they're in the news. And so since I'm close to the eight furlong pole, I want to be involved to see what's going to be happening. Maybe when it gets down to 22,000, uh, I'll buy something. Who knows? I'll buy a coin. Give me give me a $2 coin and I'll buy one. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, stop for a second and think about something that someone asked me in an email today. And that is... Uh, on the astral things that uh, Norm Winsky talked about yesterday, he mentioned that he was right 24 out of 25 times. And looking at the way that Norm looks at it with these aspects, the way they are, he that most probably exactly what it was because that's he was showing you what he was looking at. Now, it's not always like that. And astrology is the most difficult thing to do in all of the business. And fortunately, we have Shane Smolian come up who has figured it out as good as anybody. But all I've ever tried to do is to look for certain little things that, you know, give me an edge along with the patterns. And one of those edges, of course, is lunar cycles, like we're looking at the solar eclipse and new moon. To me, that's relatively important. So that's why I'm paying attention to that today. So that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, now. Let's get back to, to the uh, thing at hand. Let's take a quick look here uh, at the gold market because gold has done something very significant today, folks. Let's get this up here. And I sent this out in a video last night. You'll notice that the 
The two corrections that we had in gold were $15, and we had one of those at 1893. And then we went up, folks, and we, we kissed the high at 1907 again. We took out that high by 10 cents, and we immediately dropped all the way down to 1885, and then we rallied $12. So that's telling you that gold is in an area where it's most probably getting into some type of a distribution. So those um, that's on a short-term basis, but that's what I have to work with. The open interest is not verifying that this is a new leg of the bull market. Most of this is done by short covering, but that's still that's still the way it is. Now, the second email that I got regarding the trading is a young man sent me a very nice email saying, gee, I've had two wonderful, great trades today in the E-mini S&P, and he said, I just feel so good. And I, I immediately Skyped him back, and I said, the trick is, you got to feel just as good when you lose as when you win because it's all probabilities. If you base your life on whether you're going to be winning or losing in the market, folks, go to McDonald's and get a job as a short order cook because that's not going to work. You got to realize that when you're dealing with this business, you're dealing in probabilities and you're going to lose. You have to lose. The only way you can not lose is if you don't trade. And that's the whole thing. You have odds. You have the if you have an ABCD pattern, the odds are physically in your and mathematically in your favor. That floor traders handbook proved that we did. I think it was thirty thousand. I forget how many iterations we ran of that to see how they work. So, but you've got to be able to think in the same way, either positive or negative, whether you're whether you're winning or losing. It doesn't make any difference. If you ever been a, if you ever seen one of these movies where they do the cold calling, you know, say buy this stock, and these guys are on the phone. Every time they pick up the phone, their odds of get, getting something on the phone that will hold up was nine is is five percent. It's a boiler room. You got it. So he's got the boiler room up there. That uh, you, you have to make a hundred calls, and you're going to get five. Five good calls. I I was never I never had to do that because when I went to work at Drexel, I mean all the all the accounts were there. All I had to do was trade them profitably, and I you know, I was bullish in a bull market during '76 through '82, during the uh, you know we had high inflation, everything was going up. I mean you you know blind hog could pick up an acorn. So I you know part of that was luck, part of it was just being in the right place at the right time. But that's that's what it's all about. But you gotta you gotta think in terms of when you have a bad day. Yeah, yesterday was a, an incredible day for me because I you know I had this thing happening with the knife. I still don't know what happened. I, I I assume that I know what happened, but I don't know. I think maybe the knife turned and I caught the backside of the knife. But I mean I had a sharp pain in my hand. When I came back from the emergency room, there were still two or three drops of blood on the sink on the. Uh, on the sink where I was cutting the thing, and yet I had no cut on my hand. You figure that one out. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, and that is uh, David White is going to have a seminar on the 16th on options, folks, from 4 to 5 o'clock. And if you ever had any interest in options, you ought to listen to that. Options is a no-brainer, folks. 90% of people that sell options win. I'm going to repeat that. 90% of the people that sell options win. 10% of the people that buy options lose. Do you get those figures? Hello, operator. It's not that hard. Let's take a look at this. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides subscribe to basil chapman's newsletter the opening call and you too can ride the wave basil chapman is an authority in technical analysis his chapman wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984 TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, okay, folks, we're back. I posted the chart of Tesla. Uh, we were watching that last week when we went to 636. We went all the way down to uh, 572. Then we rallied over these last three days, uh, actually four days. We made a 78% retracement today at 622 on news from Mr. Musk's about Chinese sales. And then market immediately drops uh, $30. So uh, that tells you that that 78% level is very, very important in the uh, framework of uh, Tesla. Now, what we'd like to do now is take a quick look at Apple because we've been following this. We finally got to that level that we've been waiting for for quite some time here. You'll be able to see it here. We went up and we made the 382 retracement, folks, again. Now, look, the last time we hit this was way back on May the 12th. Okay, here we are. Now we're looking at this little puppy again. Now, remember back on the 12th there we had a... Uh, I think it's a super full moon. Something was really big happening at that time, and now we got this solar eclipse up here. All we did, folks, was take out the highs from all of May, and we took them out by a monster uh, number of 20 cents, and then the market immediately drops uh, almost $2. This is very important, folks, technically, because if we get uh, this move market to snap back and start getting above 128 and 129, uh, especially 129 is telling you that that bottom in Apple is in and it's probably going to go a long way. So let's keep our mind uh, to uh, watching to what's going on. I don't follow any of these stocks that you folks are putting in the den there. I know you're talking about Clove. I don't know what that is. I know it's related to Reddit or Memer or whatever those things are that you're looking, but I I'm not I'm not concerned about that. That's why I look at forex and futures, folks. You know, and that's all I try to do. You know, I'm giving you the best I can as far as you know what I think the patterns are going to do, but they don't always uh, they don't always work. That's the whole thing of uh, you know what we're what we're paying close attention to here is to see that when the patterns do work. Now here's one that I highly recommend you folks take a look at, and we've been. You'll see here today we've had a nice move in this one, and this is TLT. This is the uh, you know the ETF for the 20-year bond, and you notice here that we've popped up above the uh, 140 level today, and we're heading up to those targets that are up in that area. So this is a this is a correction in a bear market, folks. Higher interest rates are on the way, not lower interest rates. Um, 
Z is asking, do you see any trade ups in in uh, in corn or November beans in the last 24 hours? Z, the only thing I saw this night that last night was when the July beans hit. Uh, uh, 1597. 1597 was the 61% retracement. I took a little nibble there for about 10 cents. It worked okay, and it's still below that level. But that's that's all I'm looking at. The ones that were, you know, I'm I'm focusing primarily on the Treasury bonds, which I think are in a short zone here in this 158 and change the level, with a stop above uh, 159. And then I also I'm watching the, the, the currencies because the uh, euro went exactly to the 61 percent retracement yesterday. Uh, we locked in, you know, well over, you know, about a thousand bucks in that one. So that looks OK. And that's just uh, that's well, I, that's all I try to do, folks. When I first started to do this, this this might give you a rough idea. Back in 1982, I knew that I wanted to see if I could trade from home because I loved being a, a, a dad. I loved being a, a stay-at-home dad. I really enjoyed doing that. My kids were a little older. They were teenagers then, but I still got to be with them quite a bit. So I went to Chicago to find out if it was really fair with the way the, the, the operations worked with the runners and the, the order takers and the pits and all that stuff and all the committees and all those things. And boy, I tell you folks, it was very, very fair. That place was very honest. I, I saw maybe one or two instances where it could have been interpreted the wrong way, but most of it was very, very good. I knew that the stops were protected. So when you get your stop hit, it, well, especially now with electronic stuff, uh, when you get your stop hit, it's because your stop was there and it was supposed to be hit. Uh, John Hill always said, use Hill's law. And I asked him, what's that? He said, put your stop in because you're going to get the higher or the low anyway. So uh, that's the main thing you got to remember. You, the stop is there for your protection. If you're trading without stops, you're basically telling the market, I know more than you do. And if you think that's correct, your days as a trader are numbered, folks. Maybe you're only going to use a desktop, or maybe you're going to use a what, what I call a strangulation stop. I just can't take it anymore. Take the ro take the rope off the off the uh, beam up there because I'm ready to hang myself. Then you blow that one out. But you've got to have some place in there where you call uncle because if you don't, let me tell you something. You're going to be uh, you're going to be really in uh, in a lot of trouble. So that's pretty much it. Another we're talking about John Hills. I was visiting John uh, back in 1980 uh, after the gold had uh, topped. And uh, one of his uh, customers came in there to the ranch there in Henderson. And uh, we were visiting with him. And uh, the guy said, you know, I made $50,000. And John said, is that a lot of money? He said, that's more than I make in a year. And uh, he said, what are you going to do? He said, well, I'd like to buy a piece of property. He said, would you like to buy the property today? And the guy said, yeah, if I found something good. He said, it only takes one word. And the guy said, what's that word? He said, sell. And the guy said, well, I can't sell my gold because I think it's going to go higher. And John says, well, good luck with that because you've got your property paid for right now and you're not going to take it. So, you know, may the forces of uh, goodness be with you. But sure enough, he got out with about a $6,500 profit, John told me. After being ahead 50 grand, so that's not a uh, that's not always a, a good thing to uh, to remember here. But it's it's all about all all these are true stories, folks. I can't make this stuff up. Why would I make it up? For God's sakes, I've been doing this for so long. I I my, my grandma told me once, if you tell the the truth at 10, you don't have to remember what you said at two. And I've always tried to remember that. Everybody tells white lies, of course. You know, like yesterday when someone asked me, sent me an email, say, do you really have a Ferrari with nine forward gears? Are you kidding me? I can't even count to five. What would I would do with nine forward gears? I drive a, a Cadillac, a very nice Cadillac, in great shape. And but other than that, it's it. Yeah, the Marshall. There you go, Marshall. The only 100 percent trade I've ever seen is Larry Williams's telephone indicator. When you excuse me, it was the calculator indicator. When you reach for the calculator to determine how much money you're making, reach for the phone first because your greed index just hit this. It just hit 110 percent and stuck. So when you start th thinking about that, then you're going to be in big trouble. So that's uh, very important. I would I would love to have Larry on as a guest, but his schedule doesn't work too well where he lives. And so anyway, uh, he's still a good friend, and we chat all the time. But uh, he's got a lot of great stuff, and I've had a you know over 55 years, I've had a 
you know, good relationship learning from him because he had so much. He was doing computer stuff long before anybody was doing computer stuff. So that's uh, what we're watching here. Now, we're going to have the Shane Man is going to be coming up today. And tomorrow we're going to be have, I'll hear all by myself. I'll make up some stories. <laughs> I won't do that. But then Tim Bost will have on Thursday, and hopefully we're going to have Stan, Stan Hart. Copper is not acting well in this bull market, folks. So let's remind ourselves of that. So we'll keep that, as, keep that in mind as we look at this. So we're going to have Shane coming up at the break. He always has some really good stuff. And uh, maybe you can ask some questions about, you know, the astrology part and uh, if they work one at a time. 877-927-6648. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have the Wolf Trader in the house. Shane, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Larry. How are you? I am very good, my friend. Let me ask you a question. Norm Winsky, and you know Norm happens to be a contributor and also a very dear friend, uses a lot of really um, aspects when he looks for certain things happening at a certain time. Have you ever approached uh, astrology in that way? Yes, I think that can be very useful. I, I, um, I 
personally feel that the aspects come and go very quickly. So it's, it's, you know, it's a lot of work to, to focus on a singular point, but they can work. And particularly when you're talking about the larger transits, like right now we have the Saturn Uranus and these bigger uh, Mm -hmm. factors at play. Yeah, they can, it can be successful. I personally focus on broader base aspects and then I, I take the Astro to another level. I actually have the double optimized uh, lunar cycle that I'm doing now, which is a totally different spin on the Astro forecasting. I'm not just looking at the past. I'm taking what happened in the past and then combining it with optimization techniques to look forward into the future. So I'm really kind of on a different uh, perspective, but what okay. he does is very good, and and obviously Norm is very good at what he does. So, yeah, he's been doing it a long time for sure. Why don't you sh- tell the folks what you got for us today, my friend? Sure. Hey, by the way, you're going to be speaking in Orlando at the Money Show sh- shortly, right? I am uh, Friday, June the 11th at 2:30. So if you have a ticket, we'll see you there. It's sold out. I'm really excited about it, and this oh, is going to be a good experience. Well, I did a lot of money shows over the years. I know you're going to enjoy it and you'll do a great job. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what you're looking at today, my friend? Sure. So we'll get started here. So we we like to get started here with the Fear and Greed Index. And once again, this is running at a neutral uh, reading of about 48 here. So uh, typically this gauge runs between 0 and 100. And when it gets to either extreme, it's, it's a contrarian indicator. So you know, right now it's sitting in the middle. I think this is generally this is a bullish sign for the S&P. Uh, when you have the S&P pushing up near new highs and this is sitting at a relatively neutral reading, I think that's a good sign. Uh, so that's that's what we have on that. Uh, but really what I want to talk about is a few other markets starting out here. So there are some interesting things going on. To start with, uh, I don't know if you remember, but we did talk about this on your show right before Elon Musk came on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live on May the 8th. I was saying that that could be a contrarian high for Bitcoin, or he was talking about Dogecoin. Uh, But I think that that was significant because we we have seen significant selling since that point, uh, and I think the the cryptos are are in trouble. And I'm going to talk to you about this right now. So this is a chart here, uh, and I talked about both of these before. This talks about the relationship between gold and the dollar and gold and Bitcoin. So... Uh, Typically, the dollar and Bitcoin run opposite of each other, uh, but we've seen this relationship also with Bitcoin. So, you know, most people think of gold and the dollars running opposite, which is not a big surprise here. So that's that's what we have here. You can see on this chart, uh, as gold goes up, the dollar goes down. But we we actually have this relationship here between gold and Bitcoin, which is which is running opposite, and I I find that very interesting because. I think what we're seeing here with the inflation train is we're seeing some type of a uh, a rotation that's going on. So I think gold has really been a laggard. I think gold has a chance here in the next few months to really get up and go. And I think the cryptos are in trouble. I, I've been saying this. I said this before. Uh, they're coming into negative seasonals. And Bitcoin has a history of a boom-bust cycle. Uh, and, and there's a lot of gaps on Bitcoin below 10,000. I think there's a chance it could try to go down and test those. Um, I, I don't think Bitcoin's going to go to zero. I know a lot of people are, are, you know, when you get into these gold bugs, a lot of these gold bugs love to talk about how Bitcoin's worthless. I don't think it's worthless, but I do think it's in trouble here in the short term. And I think it could be heading much, much lower here in the next few months. So just something to put out there. And I, and I had been talking about this. I've been, I've been ringing the, the warning bells for my subscribers since, since May that we're reaching these seasonals. And I, I just, I, you know, at least on the short term, I think Bitcoin could be a problem. Uh, this is a, a chart here. I found this interesting. I'm not meaning to pick single anybody out, but I, I found this interesting that Ray Dalio, who was so against Bitcoin, all of a sudden uh, started to buy it. And, uh, you know, I'm relatively neutral on this, on, on the Bitcoin and all these markets. I just kind of follow what they're doing. Uh, but he did he did make an interesting statement here where he said, I'd, I'd, loved, I'd actually rather have Bitcoin than the bond. And I, to me, that's kind of a contrarian thing. I don't, I don't personally, I don't feel that the Bitcoin is a better, a safer hold than the bond. But that's just my personal aspect. I thought that that was interesting that he said that. Uh, so I, I personally don't feel that that's the case. But uh, this is a chart here of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, I believe Bitcoin's in trouble. Uh, like I said, uh, this is the. This is the daily chart of Bitcoin. So just to kind of tune out all the noise here, 
Uh, I have the fast, the, the Fed Juice Skynet, which is this yellow arrow right here. This is in a cell along with the Fed Juice going into a cell. And then the double optimized lunar cycle is going into a cell on June the 9th. So I real, I'm very concerned about this uh, on the short term. I do think Bitcoin eventually will come back and uh, I, I think it will come back and you know rise from the ashes. But the, the actual, sorry, I keep flipping back and forth here. The actual um, solar cycle is declining and so that's a seasonal pattern so you know bitcoin's relatively new and people don't think about it as having a seasonal pattern but it does uh it runs contrary to gold it runs contrary to the bond and i think i i just i'm concerned about it on the short term so that's my two cents about the bitcoin uh so any questions about that yeah, Shane, we've got a question from Mr. Z in the room, and he said uh, uh, back uh, a few weeks ago, hold on, well, I'll give you the exact date, back on March the 5th, you talked about the way the Fed juice was acting a little differently and much more aggressively. Is that pretty much what's still going on, or have they backed off a little bit? On the S&P, absolutely. Yeah, they're still very aggressive on that. And we'll get to that. That's later on. Okay, uh, sure, Yes, yes. The, the, the Fed is very strong, and I and I want to dispel any rumors. People love to talk about the Fed being in trouble. The Fed's not in trouble, guys. There's, they're not worried about anything in terms of the S&P 500. Now, let's talk about the bonds here. Uh, this is interesting. So for those of you who remember, the Fed had uh, these corporate credit facilities that were that were going on during the, the COVID. So the corporate credit facilities, what this was is this was a uh, – an one of the emergency lending facilities that the Fed had where they actually purchased bonds. They purchased corporate bonds. And this was just one of the different ways they were increasing the liquidity. Uh, but they actually announced now that they're selling off these bonds. And they announced this on June the 3rd. So I want you to pay attention to this date, June the 3rd. That's when they made the announcement. And then uh, they said they're going to start this on June the 7th. So what, what does that mean? Why do we care about that? Well, if you're a bond trader, you should care about this because uh, typically what happens is a lot of these banks and these bond traders, what they do, they have uh, relatively simple algorithms where they switch back and forth between the long bond or the government bond and the high yield bonds. So this purple graph up here is the actual, this is the TLT, uh, this is an ETF, but this is the, it's a hybrid 20 year. This is the government bond here and down here, this is the high yield bond down here. Uh, and, and a lot of times these bond traders, it's very relatively simple. They're going back and forth between these two. Hey, this is great. Can you uh, stay with us for the second segment, uh, Shane? Sure, sure. It's great information, folks. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. Shane, we have a question for one of our listeners. And how does this uh, uh, lunar eclipse, excuse me, solar eclipse and new moon compare with the lunar eclipse that we had uh, uh, a month or so ago? How, how do they compare? Well, generally, lunar eclipses tend to be more negative for equities. The only problem with that is that the, the, the Fed is so strong right now that we don't really see any of those negative effects. Solar solar. Uh, solar eclipses don't tend to be as dramatic on markets but they can be it just depends on the market that you're looking at okay good that's close enough so you want to continue my friend sure uh so we're talking about this effect here so what what does that mean well uh so they're starting to sell these off so what happens so i want you to look down here this is this date down here this is when the fed announced the sale of the secondary corporate credit facility bonds and this is the this is the the high yields and then this is the this is the TLT here. So the important thing here is that the, the relative to the corporate bonds, the TLT took off and is outperforming. So the TLT is up 1.5% since they made the announcement, and the high yields are only up 0.3%. So it's outperforming it five times. Uh, and so I think that was a signal, and I, I don't think that was a coincidence. Sorry about that. I don't think that was a coincidence that uh, this occurred right when the Fed made that announcement. They were signaling uh, to the bond markets that, you know, it's time to move back into to the long bonds. So the interesting about the thing about this is that the Fed has many ways to move these markets. They have many tools. They're very innovative. And it's very you got to keep up with what they're doing to understand what's happening. So this is just the latest twist uh, wrinkle in the curve here. But I think they want this bond to rise a little bit. I think I, and I don't know their motivation, you know, but I think that it probably had something to do with the reverse repo facility becoming more active. I don't think they want that. Uh, people were, it's, the reverse repo was essentially people were trying to park their money with the Fed because they were getting a slightly better interest rate. And that has like that's like anti-Fed juice. That's like pulling money out of the markets. I don't think the Fed wanted that. So I'm wondering if that that was the maybe the motivation why they, they're doing this. But it's having an effect on the bond, even if it's maybe it's a small term effect, but it's definitely happening here. Uh, this is our charts here that we that we talk about, and I have it down here on the blue. That the, the Fed signals this right here on the third, and you can see right away it explodes up on the fourth. Uh, and I have this new Fed use Skynet, uh, uh, which is the yellow arrow, and these are really on fire. These signals are doing very well. Uh, this is my latest uh, version of the Fed use, and that's in a buy right now on the bonds. So uh, I think the bonds are looking pretty positive here. Now. Gold. Let's talk about gold. I, I'm pretty bullish on gold. I, I think gold has a lot of potential here in the summer. Uh, I think it could be rising through the next few months, probably into August. I, I think that's the seasonal peak on gold. Uh, I have uh, much more specific uh, solar cycles here, which I've kind of blocked out here. These are for subscribers. But uh, the main idea is that I think gold is relatively bullish. The, the double optimized lunar cycle has gone into a sell uh, on the third. So it's kind of 
messing around here, just kind of drifting around. But I think overall, I feel very strongly about this this bull trend that's in effect here. Uh, and you know, the Fed just may be going into a sell today, but I think that really just I don't think it's anything too serious. I think it's probably just going to drift down. And then I think when we hit that 15th, I think that's going to probably be, be the next really big solid leg up here on gold uh, looking at that. Uh, well, that's gold. That's good to know. Sure. Gold miners follows a similar pattern. Gold miners, the Fed use actually trades uh, probably better than the gold futures. This thing is doing very well since uh, uh, late December. Uh, if, you know, on a $10,000 investment, it's up about $1,400. It's doing well. It's just a solid, it's a, it's a juggernaut. It kind of chugs higher, but it's a very simple system to follow. Uh, that went into a sell. So I think we're just in a pause here. I don't think gold's on any type of a major high, uh, but I think overall uh, it, it looks good. This is the, this is the dollar juice. Uh, this is just another indicator that we use. Uh, this has been in a buy since May the 6th, and, and it, this is still looking very solid here, too. So I, I feel good about gold. I think gold is, is a good play right now. I think probably gold and the bond right now are two good inflation uh, plays uh, for the summer. I mean, the bond has a similar pattern to gold, probably even stronger through the summer. So we're coming into a bond seasonal pattern that's get, getting strong. So, you know, if I just had a kind of look at this from a big picture i would say you know bitcoin I'm, I'm bearish on bitcoin bullish on gold bullish on the bond uh for the long term silver's uh, interesting it's been kind of lagging here uh, this has also been a very good play on the fed juice it's been doing very well this is one of our best performances on the fed juice the fed juice by the way are these red arrows here that you see so when you see these red arrows this, these are actual trading systems it just does very well it just kind of chugs along through time that's in a sell right now and i think again we're in this consolidation phase once we get to about June the 14th, I think that along with gold, I think we'll have the chance for this to try to push higher. Uh, but you can see it's really just hitting this just just stonewall of support here. It does not want to go down. Uh, and so I think when you when you get situations like that where it's just consolidating on a negative okay. cycle, that's generally okay. bullish. Shane, we've got a caller from uh, Austin, Texas uh, on the line. Shane, uh, Steve, are you there? Yeah, yes, sir. Why don't you go ahead and ask Shane your question? Yeah, Shane, thank you so much for, for what you do. And I just wanted to have a quick uh, response to crude oil because it looks like it's been consolidating here. Do you think it's going to break up or have a sell-off? Uh, your opinion well, is? Okay, let's see if I can if I have a slide on oil here. I think I do somewhere in here. Okay, so oil. All right. I'm not as bullish on oil as I am on gold, at least in the near term. The seasonal patterns on on oil are not as strong this summer, uh, but it does look strong. Now, if I had to talk about like a long term on oil, I do yes. feel that oil is going to be higher in the next few years. I think probably 2023, I'm looking for a major high in, mo in many equities around that 2023 area. Um, the the uh, oil does have a solar cycle peak. I don't have it shown here. It's kind of blocked out. It's, it's on our energy s newsletter, but it's around Right around July the 1st, uh, oil starts to hit a, a peak on the solar cycle, and then it starts to taper off. So it could still have some strength here. We have the summer driving season coming up. People are getting back out. Uh, but I, I feel more strong, at least on the short term, about gold. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. Thanks for calling in, Steve. We appreciate it. Uh, Shane, we have a question sure. from one of our listeners. Uh, are you self-taught, or did you take a, uh, a classes at the university level on uh, – well, they don't have classes on astrology at the university level, so you had to be no, self-taught. Self-taught, and when I talk about the money show on, on, fr on Friday, I'm going to talk about how I came to the evolution of where I am with the Fed. Uh, so I'm definitely self-taught on the Fed. Everything we've done, I've, I, I track what they do, I follow. I, I understand something was going on here larger than – you know what we could see uh, and so definitely self-taught on the fed and um on all this stuff i mean I, I write all the code for my indicators i we've we've re we've redesigned the optimization software the walk forward technology we use is completely built from scratch so when you t say the word walk forward people think about oh trade station walk forward no what we do is completely different uh mm -hmm. it's from from head to toe each of these indicators th they're very moody it's very fragile so every single indicator has to be optimized in a different way using a different system. So you might see down here on these charts, you see where it says WF. That means walk forward. That means this chart is good until uh, June the 13th. And that little 3D down there, that's the system that we're using. So each chart has a different system.
Very good. Stay with us till uh, the break so we can tell the folks how they can reach you, Shane. Thank you. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Shane Smullyan, WolfTrader.com, who's going to be appearing in Orlando, Florida uh, on the 10th, is that correct? Uh, Orlando on the the 12th. The sorry, 12th, the 11th. okay. Friday, sorry, oh. Friday the 11th, and then... Per I might speak again on the 12th. We'll see. Depends how the first one goes, but they said I might speak twice. Yeah, yeah you'll be doing too. I can be assured of that because you really have great quality and you present it incredibly well. So, and how, how if they want to get a ticket, how do they, uh, do they have to go to the money show to get that? Or how does it work? Well, from what I understand, the the, the show that I'm, the, my presentation is sold out from what I understand, but they can still get tickets to the money show. Just head on over to the money com, and mm -hmm. then, um, it's it like I said, it's in Orlando. It's at the Omni Resort. Um, so, oh, that's very it, good. Tell the folks how they can reach you, my friend. Okay, so if, I'll put the spotlight down here. I know it's a lot of information. If you want to reach me, you can reach me at www.wolftraderfutures.com or www.fedjuice.com, and we have a uh, free email list there. You can sign up for that if you have any questions. And on uh -huh. Twitter, you can follow us at at wolftraderfutu1. For updates, and then also on YouTube, we have a channel. 
I did a live stream last Saturday uh, talking about just what's you know what's new news and events for the service, and that's Wolf Trader Futures. So head on over there, or you can also just send me an email at Shane at WolfTraderFutures.com, and uh, I'll answer any questions that you have. It's a busy week for me, so if it takes me a while to get back to you, just uh, try and be patient. I'm juggling many many things right now with the show coming up. Well, I'm sure you are. But I want to wish you the best of luck, but you're going to knock them dead, so don't worry about it. Just be yourself. You can't fail. Thanks so much, Larry. Hey, we'll have you on again soon, and good luck uh, on the 11th and 12th, and may God bless. Thanks for Thank joining so us, much. my friend. Thank you, everybody. You bet. Shane Smolianfold, wolftrader.com. We'll be back tomorrow, folks. I'll hear, be here by myself. I'll have a few makeup stories, and I'll go to my storybook to find out something that you might find interesting. We'll talk a little bit about psychology and, of course, some of the markets and stuff, and uh, we'll move on from there. Thursday, we've got Tim Boss, 877-927-6648. 